and welcome back to Hilltop Stovetop, the show where we teach you how to make great meals in an ordinary kitchen. Today, we're gonna to be tackling an old-fashioned boiled ham. And uh, this, um, this method of cooking it can be used with any ham. Uh, today, I have chosen a, um, a large shank portion of a ham, so it's got the bone right in it, which is gonna make us some fabulous soup when all is said and done. And even though this package says right on it that it is fully cooked, so we could just open up this plastic and slice it and serve it and everything would be fine. But also when you look at the fine print on this, a 100 gram portion of this ham contains 47% of your daily recommended uh, sodium intake. So we're gonna take this ham and cook it up a little bit and um, do some things that's gonna take some of that salt out. I won't say it's gonna take all of it out, but it's gonna make it a, a little bit less salty and replace that salt with some other ham kind of flavors. Uh, namely, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in some bay leaves. So remember, uh, we use bay leaves not just for the flavor, but also to help with the tenderizing. Uh, we're gonna put in whole cloves and we're going to put in whole peppercorns and we're also going to add in uh, some apple cider and we're going to uh, boil that up for a um, couple of hours actually just on a low simmer uh, to let those flavors blend and then we'll finish it off in the oven with a nice glaze and uh, then there will also be a separate video about how to make the potatoes that go along with this so uh, just uh, uh, tune in and we'll learn more about ham. And just so you know, this particular method of cooking a ham comes from this old cookbook. This is a cookbook from 1932, uh, talking about how to deal with uh, home cooked hams, home cured hams, as well as the store bought hams. And I find that this comes out really tasty. Uh, comes out with a nice tender uh, cut of meat um, and you can go with a, a cheaper type of ham when you're doing it this way as well um, and then that bone that's in there that runs right through the center of this is going to make us some fabulous soup later on so stay tuned okay so here we are with a little close-up of our ham and one thing about this type of ham you'll notice that there's not a lot of meat there's some nice big pieces of meat in here. There's a little bit of fat running through the middle. We've got the bone here and if you flip it over you'll see the other part of the bone that's coming through here. So there will actually be a joint that's in the middle of this. So there is a bit of fat but it's all in in big uh, veins which will be easy to carve out later on. So we'll, we'll end up with a piece of meat that's quite lean and uh, very flavorful. So we're gonna pop that in the pot. If you had purchased one of these and you don't have a pot that's big enough, um, if, you, if you've got a local butcher that you're buying this stuff from, don't be afraid to say, hey, can you take this, I want this whole ham, but can you take it and cut it in half for me? And they'll, they'll put it on their bandsaw and, and cut it in half. And I also, I started off with just rinsing that off to take the initial bit of, of uh, salt off of it. Then I have here a jug of apple cider. Again, this came from uh, McLaren's Orchard, same place that I got the apples that I made our apple crisp with the other day. And we're going to take this whole, it's two liters of apple cider, and we're going to pour that in. And then we'll fill that up with water and pour that in as well. Okay. And I'm going to keep that jug handy just in case I need to add more water later on. But if we can, before this starts to boil, I'm just going to turn it over. So we've got that much more of it in the water, like as it won't be totally covered, but it's going to be darn close. And then we're going to add in some bay leaves. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, let's find some peppercorns that are in a... put in a few peppercorns like that. And then some whole cloves. Now this is one of those things that if I just had a small ham and I was just straight baking it without boiling it, I would be inclined to take some of these cloves and, and stud the ham with it just for the extra flavor. But this will add a lot into the boiling process there. And then we're gonna put the lid on that and we're just going to gently simmer that for a couple of hours. So we'll see you in a couple of hours. Okay, so here we are a couple of hours later and this has been simmering away. And one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning was in addition to the bay leaves, uh, um, peppercorns and cloves, I also added uh, about two cups of brown sugar to this water. Um, and then that was with the apple cider and the water. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use these forks that we, the same ones we used to lift the turkey out, and we're going to lift out this ham and put it into a baking dish now. around in just a second so you'll get the full view. We'll get this out of the way. Get these little bay leaves out of the way. And there you go. So there's our, our ham now. You can see how the, the fat is uh, has pulled away and the the meat itself is really very, very tender already. And um, our, our bones are starting to stick out. So we're getting, it's gonna be very easy to, to cut this up when the time comes. But what we're gonna do now is I've got this little bowl here with some brown sugar and some dried mustard. So that's like, like this stuff, the dried mustard. And I'm gonna take just enough of the the juice that was in the pot here that it's called the liquor uh, that came with this and just maybe a spoonful there and moisten that up and make a little bit of paste that we're going to use to to coat this just drizzle over this ham and then i'm going to pop it in the oven for oh, 45 minutes to an hour and that will will dry it down a little bit and put this nice glaze on it. And that will also give us a chance to make any side dishes. And what I'm gonna make to go with this is Potatoes Anna. And that will be a separate video that uh, if you like and subscribe, you'll get the notification when that's ready. And uh, it's, a, it's a variation, you know, like a lot of people will like, um, scallop potatoes with a ham and I love scallop potatoes too uh, but potatoes Anna is similar but it's kind of a little more cheesy and makes a very nice side dish and a very pretty side dish as well. did grease this dish before we started and then I'm also going to add in some more liquid into the bottom so that if it needs uh, that'll keep it from burning with all that sugar in the bottom and um, will also give us something that if we wanted to we could baste it I don't think we'll need to particularly but option. Now I'm not going to dump out this liquid until everything is done so that I know 
um, you know, I could always have more liquid to add to it if I wanted. So this is going to go in the oven, 45 minutes to an hour. Then we'll come back as we pull it out and you'll see what a fabulous thing this is and then we'll carve it up. And All right, so here we are with our finished product ham. And uh, won't that be a lovely thing to, to bring to your holiday table? And what we're going to do here is, again, I'm going to take my, my big forks and move it over to a cutting board. And what I'm likely to do with this particular ham is I'm going to try to cut along the lines where that fat was so I can get a decent piece that I can make slices from. And see how tender that is? It just comes apart like, like nothing. Put that back out of the way. Beautiful ham with minimal fat to it. It's a little different than if you buy a cottage roll or something that's going to have fat marbled through it. Uh, this is going to have streaks of fat, but for the most part, it's going to be a nice lean piece that makes, uh, in addition to a nice hot meal right now, will make wonderful sandwiches. Um, you can, now that it's cooked like this, you can freeze it into manageable pieces. And once we get that bone out of there, we'll be able to make a beautiful, um, like a lentil kind of a, a soup or a pea soup uh, with that ham bone. So there we have it, folks. Old fashioned boiled ham. Thank you for joining us the, today on uh, Hilltop Stovetop, where we learned how to make an old fashioned boiled ham. And this will be just a wonderful addition to your holiday meal repertoire. Uh, if you like today's episode, please like and subscribe. And uh, that will help support myself as a creator on YouTube, because that's what tells YouTube that you like to see this kind of show. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.